Every day when you wake up, you're presented with a choice. A choice to either climb the mountain that lies in front of you, or stand at the bottom and wonder what the view looks like from the top. See, because when someone starts saying, you can't do this, or you can't do that, or there's no way that you can do this, or just give up, or quit, or whatever they want to tell me, all that ever did to me is motivate me to work harder. I try to preach to you all the time when you're trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, and look better. You better have a long-term commitment in mind. There's no shortcuts, no bullshit like that, guys. If you want to get bigger, faster, stronger, you gotta be ready to put in the effort to do that. One of the last people I would have ever thought I would have needed to make a professor video on was Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X. If you've never heard of Jeff Cavalier, then I must say first, welcome to YouTube because the guy is absolutely everywhere. It is almost impossible to have never heard of this guy as he has absolutely flooded the fitness YouTube space with content and advertisements to make his company from what it appears to be the number one fitness company to go to in regards to all things fitness. Which begs the question, is Athlean X the most profitable and influential fitness company on YouTube? I have no idea, but I would assume so with a subscriber base of over 10.3 million subscribers and videos that are getting over millions of views, it may be a good guess that Athlean X is the top dog with the largest fitness bone to chew on, but that's just an educated guess. Now, I don't think anyone should have an issue with this strategy of making consistent content and using paid advertisements to get their brand out there. No reasonable person should have an issue with a man trying to get his business to hit that next level. But you see, that's not the issue. Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X has been using fake weights. He's been giving some real bad programming and lifting instructions. And his nutrition options and examples are straight garbage, as I've been saying for over a year now. This has all been right in front of everyone's faces and only a few people were really willing to talk about Jeff's lack of knowledge in training. But this was all truly brought to, to light by Curling X. In particular, Curling X exposed Jeff Cavalier's use of fake weights on multiple lifts, his lack of understanding on proper programming, and wacky general lifting advice. The fact that Jeff Cavalier believed that no one was going to notice the fake plates over time shows how much he really respects his audience. What really gets to me is the fact that he deliberately deceived his audience about his strength levels on multiple occasions and then he has the audacity to produce multiple motivational videos. As I was self-conscious enough to actually pick times during the day that I would know that I would avoid the most people in the gym. I'd be training at the weirdest hours of the day just so I wouldn't have to see people there and feel self-conscious or most more self-conscious than I did about how skinny I was or about how weak I might be. But you see, I didn't give up. I never stopped trying. You see, maybe Jeff Cavalier should have trained with those stronger people so that he could learn from them or learn to keep his insecurities in check so that he wouldn't have to resort to fake weights to try to prove himself. This makes perfect sense because all you have to do to work harder is add some fake plates to the bar and then act like you really can lift that amount of weight, pump out a bunch of shitty programs to sell to a bunch of impressionable noobs that don't know any better, and then do a bullshit motivational speech like the one you just saw in that video of his so that you can come off as authentic. If you're one of those guys that felt like quitting, let me be that example for you. Let me be the guy that tells you don't. Don't quit. Yeah, don't quit. Just cheat and be deceitful. That's the way. The Jeff Cavalier of Athlete X way. You ever heard of that saying, fake it till you make it? 
Well, it doesn't really apply here because you could just fake it and that's it. Just fake it and hope that no one finds out. And if someone does find out, then just run away and don't address this gigantic problem that has now stained you as a man and delegitimized your whole company. Push for her every single day. There's no magic. It ain't gonna happen overnight. You know what? I would agree with that one statement. There is no magic, but there is a metric ass ton of fuckery here. I follow a very uh, strict nutrition plan, and by that I mean I eat healthy, guys. I eat healthy all the time. I enjoy healthy foods. How dare he claim such a thing and influence the masses with bullshit bro signs on the topic of nutrition when he has a diet that looks like this. We're gonna get to that topic in a sec, so sit tight on that topic, ladies and gents. So the whole fake weight deceitful line shit Jeff pulled is just the true revealing colors of Jeff Cavalier and it shows with his programs. Jeff released a series of perfect workout programs about a year and a half ago, somewhere around there. And let me just say, these programs are so badly put together that they're almost offensive. And how no one else jumped on this is beyond me. Except for Curly Next, he did mention two of his perfect workout programs in some of his videos. But nonetheless, take for example, the perfect chest workout. Just for starters, who in the hell would use the word perfect in the title of their program when it looks like this? Just look at this. Eight different exercises partitioned into four groups, totaling 30 sets. 30 sets of chest exercises in one training session, totaling over 333 repetitions, if you don't count the weighted push-ups to failure. How in the hell is any type of appreciable weight going to be lifted if a person who is following this crap plan is supersetting all his lifts and is working in the six, eight, 10, and 12 rep ranges. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for doing volume, but this isn't volume, this is just overkill. If a person is even able to finish this proclaimed perfect chest workout, how would this individual even be able to do anything else or even have time to do anything else? The person who attempts this crap would probably be be so spent and strapped for time that they would have no time to train any other muscle or exercise unless of course this person was perhaps a bodybuilder then they would probably be spending all day in the gym i could see how maybe this type of exercise would this type of plan would suit them but then again jeff doesn't train bodybuilders you always have to ask what is the end goal if it's straight hypertrophy there are going to be benefits to gross less in terms of developing muscle and building muscle like a bodybuilder even though we don't train bodybuilders that's a clip from another video where jeff essentially contradicts himself he states he doesn't train bodybuilders so really jeff cavalier makes programs for regular people at least that's who he targets to sell these programs to to make them believe that they're training like athletes spoiler alert that's not the case you're not going to be training like an athlete if you buy one of those programs the issue with this is the fact that these perfect workouts are not perfect at all they're just foolish there's way too much volume the rep ranges are just all over the place and some of the programs expect you to do multiple rep maxes this type of program if followed will quickly lead to burnout and potential injury if someone follows an illegitimate workout routine like this this now leads us to some of jeff's makeshift exercises and lifting cues the most egregious pointer that I have ever seen and heard from a self-proclaimed strength coach give is this one. Now do it the way I'm showing you here. Breathe out and tighten down. Contract your abs forcefully. Be conscious of how hard you're contracting your abs. Okay. Clearly, we all know now that Jeff has never really squatted anything heavy before in his life because of this absurd tip he just gave. By breathing out, as the professor just demonstrated, a person will actually decrease intra-abdominal pressure, which can increase disc compression force on the back and lead to injury, hence why using a belt can be a very safe choice with squatting or lifting heavy as it increases intra-abdominal pressure. Now, I'm not saying that everyone needs to train with a belt when doing their squats or deadlifts or any type of heavy lifting. All I'm saying is to increase 
your intra-abdominal pressure is a good thing. The goal is to increase intra-abdominal pressure to support all the bodily components of the back and that is completed by taking a big belly breath in and maintaining as much pressure as safely as possible inside the abdominal area. And that is not done by exhaling and flexing your abs. If anything, exhaling and flexing your abs while in a squat position, while heavy weight is loaded on your back, creates a situation where a crunch is more suitable to occur or flexion of your back. I don't think anyone would want to crunch their way up during the concentric portion of a heavy squat or any lift for that matter, if they care about their spine at all. Then of course, we've got this magical lift. But from now, from here, my job is to curl the weight up to the shoulder here. And this one. <laughs> and this one. Curl up. And look guys, I can go on about this for quite a bit some time with these quacky lifts that Jeff has invented over the years, but you guys get the picture. Jeff comes up with these like really weird exercises and what seems to be a way for him to just overcomplicate general fitness or pump out new videos. I'm not sure what's the reason, maybe it's both, I'm not sure. For some reason, people really like these types of videos. They just seem to eat them all up. I really don't see an issue if people do like them. I mean, that's on them. The issue is just the sheer amount of misinformation and the improper terminology on these perfect workout programs in regards to Jeff Cavalier's science-based fitness approach. Which leads us to Jeff's nutrition information. It's absolute garbage. Jeff promotes a load of disease-inducing foods for hard gainers, which I think is straight up unethical on so many levels. This sets a foundation for skinnier people and even regular folks to assume a diet consisting of crap is perfectly healthy and optimal to gain mass when nothing could be further from the truth. Taking a look at the hard gainer meal plan Jeff released about a year and a half ago, we'll see it's loaded with foods not designated for humans. Giving recommendations or advising hard gainers to eat foods like this only further perpetuates the misinformation that has brainwashed society into believing they are omnivores. The truth is humans are herbivores not omnivores, and they don't need to suck on the mammary secretions of cows or eat the ova of chickens or the rotting flesh of the many animals humans have been conditioned to believe they need to consume. I've already made a playlist on this subject in regards to why animal products are not healthy for human consumption, and I've listed and shown all the studies in the video and are listed in the description box of each and every single video. Link will be up above, check them out if you want. Nonetheless, promoting these foods for human consumption only promotes disease due to the harmful substances that are found in animal secretions and their flesh. Consuming an exorbitant amount of saturated fat trans fat, dietary cholesterol, animal proteins, heme iron, IGF-1, estrogen, HCAs, and a whole bunch of other substances is not healthy for human consumption, much less a person who is training to be an athlete or training like an athlete. So let's wrap up here. Jeff Cavalier from Athlete X uses fake weights. He gives workout programs that are straight garbage and then titles them perfect. He gives really shitty lifting cues and certain exercises that are very odd and he knows barely anything in regards to nutrition. Some people will say this classifies Jeff as a fraud and I would say that's their opinion. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. What we can definitively say is that he is in fact a liar after all, but let's not forget that he also seems to be very incompetent in certain subjects within the fitness and nutrition realm, yet he still creates content on the matter and sells programs. Sounds like a standard run of the mill professor to me. I think it's about that time, Mr. Jeff Cavalier, I can't believe it myself, but here is your well-deserved award. Congratulations to Jeff Cavalier for making the list. I never thought the day would come, but nonetheless, he definitely deserves it, even though I'm still kind of in shock 
that the guy has been a professor this whole time. I have to give a huge shout out to Curling X because if it wasn't for him, none of this probably would have ever been surfaced in regards to the whole fake weights and some of the horrible information Jeff Cavalier from Athlean X has been giving over the years if it wasn't for Curling X. So make sure to check out his channel as I strongly recommend you do so. I only hope that the bullshit with Athlean X and everyone around him who wants to defend the bullshit comes to an end as I do believe integrity does count for something. There's enough misinformation out there in the fitness industry and we don't need any more of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. As you know, I love to engage with all of you. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you. Feel free to rate, subscribe, and hit the ding dong button if you haven't already. I'm The Natural, so I wanna thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.